In both of my careers as an astronaut and as a Navy SEAL, this sense of planning for a risky mission, accomplishing that mission, but also weighing in safety, risk mitigation, and adapting and kind of thinking on your feet is the crux of being an astronaut. And the saying in the military is the enemy gets a vote. And that means just what you can imagine. You know, you, it, despite all your best preparation and plans, as soon as you step off the helicopter, or as soon as you step into the mission, it's about to change. One particular time, my partner and I, an Italian astronaut, Luca, we were doing a spacewalk where water started to leak into his helmet, which is not where you want water to be out in the vacuum of space. The spacesuit engineering team never thought it was possible for water to get into the helmet. So there was no procedures, there was no script, adapting on the fly, figuring out, making decisions to get back and close the airlock. No matter what the organization is, or no matter what the mission is, or no matter what the situation is, one person doesn't have the whole picture, always. That whole picture comes from input from everybody and those folks with different views. And that's what I think makes a unit or, and a leader most effective is when you can quickly integrate all of that input so that ideally everybody has the same big picture. If everyone feels that, that their voice is heard and listened to and truly accepted and input from the collective team, all matters. Even though the missions were different in between the SEALs and NASA, the concept of that has been the same throughout my career.